Um, why did you give him the man in the other room, the learner, the shocks? Well, as you can see, I, I, I wanted to stop because each time he gave him a shock, the guy hollered. Did it sound as if he was in pain? Yeah. Did he say he wanted you to stop the experiment? Yes. Did he have a right to stop the experiment? I don't know. Why didn't you stop at that point when he asked you to stop? Why didn't I stop? Mm -hmm. Well, because because he told me to continue. Why did you listen to that man and not the man in pain? Well, because because I thought the experiment depended on me. And, and nobody told me to stop. He asked you to stop. Well, that, that, that's true, but but he's the, um, you know, the subject, shall we say. Who was the, who bore the responsibility for the fact that this man was being shocked? I don't know. Could you fill out items 6 through 18 on the questionnaire in front of you, please? Here's a pen. I get a little skittish. Uh, <laughs> nervous. As I explained to Mr. Wallace in the other room, uh, this shock generator is actually used with small animals for laboratory experiments, mice and rats and so forth. The visual designation is actually misleading. Uh, this shock generator has actually been adjusted so that the shocks were just slightly stronger than the shock you experienced. Uh, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. No hard feelings. I, I probably would have done the same thing myself. 